Hey you guys, wanted to um, have this week's VIP for the Sunday we have coming up. I um, want to challenge you to do some things before we reach Sunday. Um, I know last week's VIP was a little long. Um, I'm going to try to keep this one shorter just to respect your time. I know there's a lot going on right now for everyone. So um, first thing I want to challenge you to do is think about Eric's challenge that we got Sunday. What does this, th what is what's going on in the world? make possible? What does this opportunity make possible? Um, one of the things you guys have been doing a great job of is reaching out to families. Um, but I want to encourage those of you who haven't yet to go ahead and start doing that. I have emailed out the list to you guys of um, different families that we're reaching out to um, to invite them to um, the digital small groups that we're having now. But I'd like to encourage you, those of you who have time, I know that some of you are, are homeschool parents for the first time without really planning to be while still doing your work for your job remotely, um, which is less than ideal, let's be honest. But if you do have time, I'd love to encourage you to think about what does this opportunity make possible. I'm not going to tell you necessarily how to do it, but there's so many ways we can be doing it. Um, maybe you call your families, not just send them a text or send them an email inviting them to the Zoom thing, but maybe call through your list and check in with your guys or check in, check in with your girls. Ask what's really going on. Hey, how can I pray for you? Um, hey, how are you feeling with all of this? What are some things that, that kind of suck about what's going on right now? What are some things that are fun about what's going on right now? Find out how they're really doing. That's a great way that we can shepherd the students that have been put in our care. Um, also, if, if we're dreaming big and we, we're at, you know, at home and not able to be working at this time and we just have extra time, which is true of some of us, um, what a cool opportunity for you to invite the other small group leaders that you're a part of. Hey, look, let's call through and have a Zoom meeting that's not on a Sunday for small group purposes. Why don't we do a game night with our students and our students' parents and our other small group leaders? And we'll, I got together with my sister and brother-in-law and Kelly we played categories, and I would take a picture of the list and I would send it to them. Um, and then we would start the timer on my end and we would, you know, play categories, roll the dice, pick a letter, do that. Uh, we played that for a couple hours and we had a blast. You could do that with your small group. I'm not saying you have to, but there's so many possibilities of things that you could be doing um, with, you know, girls and guys in your group. So, um, what? We can go on Netflix and we'll start a movie at the same time and, and you know, Skype are watching it or on Disney Plus and watch a movie together. What, whatever you want to do, think through what does this opportunity make possible and then try to go out and do that with your small group. Um, I talked to Simi this afternoon. We had our one-on-one -on -one meeting and she said, Josh, I want you to think about what is the thing that you want middle school ministry to be remembered for through this process. When they look back on everything that went on in the beginning of 2020 with coronavirus, what do you want middle school to be remembered for? And, and for me, Arwen, I want them to remember that middle school was present, that middle school did not retreat, that we were still for families, we were st still for our students, and we pursued them, and we loved them well, and we gave good communication, and we hung out with them, and we didn't isolate, but we, we didn't retreat, we stepped forward. So that's what I want to be remembered for, and I hope that's what you want to be remembered for also. These are things, this is this is history. I mean, this is going to be written about in the history books where the entire planet was shut down for a little while. And so they're going to remember it. Like, most of us remember 9-11. Um, I was in middle school, and I remember hearing it on the radio. They're going to remember this. When we didn't have school for the rest of the year, and they closed down schools, they closed down restaurants, I want them to remember your name and remember my small group leader. My small group leader... Mary Kate called me. My small group leader Rosa called me. My, my small group leader um, Josh Bailey called me and hung out with me and asked how I was doing. Uh, what a cool opportunity. Insert your name there and realize what does this opportunity make possible for you. Um, second thing I want us to think about, um, you may want to write these down, I have a few, <laughs> but um, several of you are already doing this with your small groups, but I think this is a really cool opportunity to invite small groups to uh, do the Bible reading plan devotions for Undefeated. So if you haven't started it yet, it is not too late. Um, you go here to plans and you have search and you type in Undefeated and then you just invite them to do it with you. So this is the 8th grade guys 
they're doing theirs together and they've invited their small group and it looks like there are five people who have accepted and are in the room and are doing the reading plan together throughout the weeks that's fantastic i would i would challenge you guys to do that as well if you're looking for something to do with your students um so for um amped i really would love feedback i'd love for you to text me and and I don't want to add extra things to your plate, but I would want to be accessible and be available and be here um, if you want it. So if you guys would like to have a Zoom leaders meeting um, where we just sit and we talk and we brainstorm about the future and we toss around ideas of how to engage families, um, how we can um, not just give students content to consume on Sundays and then invite them to a small group, which is great, um, but instead of great, could we be better than that could we be um you know what's better than great i don't know i should have started it good that's good but how can we be great um i think one way we could be great would be not just giving them like i said content to consume but give them something to do so hey this week we would love for you we're gonna have a video challenge where um we ask you to recreate this photo like maybe like we did at walking wisely and we uh, put up a photo and we have them text you guys um a a picture of their whole family recreating this photo whatever that looks like I would love to brainstorm with you guys and uh, lean into your strengths and your talents and your creativity uh, because I don't have all the answers I am a fish out of water with this um, I've never run a ministry completely online before so um, anyone who's willing or able if you want to have that zoom call um, with several leaders let me know um, we'll plan a time and a date and we will make that happen I would love to hear from you guys um, so my last challenge, um, this is, it's not a huge ask, but it's something that I think is going to make a big difference. I would love for, like it or not, for better or for worse, right now we are a digital ministry. We are a completely online ministry, which means that we need to be online. Um, when when I post stuff for Amped when we, um, on the Instagram page, I would love for you to go and follow it or like it or share it or... Um, I'm posting stuff in the the stories. Um, I would love for you guys to tag your students in it or to, um, when I post just a regular photo, to tag your students in it and um, invite them to stuff and let them know what's going on. The more that we can engage with Instagram, um, Facebook, YouTube, um, I'm trying to figure out TikTok. I'm still new to it. Um, I think I may be too old for it. I'm trying, uh, it's not super intuitive for me, but uh, I'm getting there. Um, any of those platforms that if you're not following please follow if you're not interacting with it please interact with it um, like I said we have a page on Facebook and Instagram that are both um, updated almost daily at this point point. Um, and I, I would just really like you guys to, to engage with that and invite students to engage with that in whatever way is possible um, and I know that not all of our students do have all of those platforms but we can invite parents to it if you know parents information um, any and all of those things that we can do to be present where students are uh, is going to be a win. So uh, that's all that I have for this week. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. No, please, that you can call, text, email, group me um, at any time if you have any questions, any problems, any concerns, and know that I am here to help you. Um, I am for you. I am for Amped. I am for Grace Bible Church and more importantly i'm for um the expansion of the kingdom even in a time where things are less than ideal so um i'm praying for you uh, i'd appreciate it if you would keep kelly and i in your prayers um this baby is due um technically uh, four weeks from today tomorrow um so uh pray that we can get in and out of the hospital without problems that things aren't getting crazy or busy here and that this little uh, this little girl is safe so um, let me know if I can pray for you for anything specifically um, I'm happy to do it so love you guys and I'll talk to you soon thanks